Hi everyone, Stacy Weider here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with a two-part video series, which is a harp loan refresher. Now, just a quick reminder before we get started. This video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of Fannie Mae guidelines. Also, this video was issued on August 22nd, 2017, and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. So the Home Affordable Refinance Program, otherwise known as HARP, is a streamlined refinance for borrowers with high loan-to-value ratios. Now, the Federal Housing Financing Agency announced on August 17th, 2017, that they're going to extend the program through December of 2018. And according to the FHFA, there are still over 143,000 homeowners who could benefit from HARP. So here are some important things to remember about HARP loans. They're for Fannie and Freddie only. Now in this video series, we're going to go over the Fannie HARP loan, um, but Freddie does offer them as well. They're not the same as a loan modification. When we go through the guidelines, you'll understand that part a little bit more. They are ideal for high LTV loans. As I'm sure many of you recall, um, this originally came out around 2009, 2010-ish when most homeowners were underwater on their mortgages with values. There are borrower to benefit requirements and um, it is allowed on loans with mortgage insurance. So there are two types of Fannie Mae HARP loans. There's the DU Refi Plus, which relies on DU, um, and it's for, un for underwriting, and there are documentation flexibilities, and it's a more streamlined process. There's also the DU Refi Plus, which would be a manually underwritten HARP loan, and it does rely on the original fully documented file. Now currently, the guidelines, because this announcement just came out, the Fannie Mae HARP guidelines will show that the application date must be before September 30th, 2017. Um, they haven't had a chance to update the selling guide to reflect the new announcement, but um, something important to remember is that probably going forward, the note date of the mortgage being refinanced will more than likely have to be on or after October 1st, 2017. So again, make sure you check out the Fannie Mae guidelines uh, once they're updated. The Fannie Mae HARP purpose. So as we mentioned earlier, the purpose is to refinance an existing Fannie Mae mortgage to another Fannie Mae mortgage when the borrower does not qualify under the existing guidelines due to high loan to value. It has simplified documentation requirements for income and assets, and it will not penalize the borrower in, in regards to mortgage insurance. So if they did not have if they do not have mortgage insurance on their current mortgage and you're doing a harp loan to refinance them into a new one regardless of the ltv they will not have mortgage insurance again if they do have mortgage insurance they will have it on the new one of course now the loan must be a limited cash out <clears throat> and may include the following in the new loan amount payoff of the current unpaid principal balance and closing cost prepaid items or points So remember, there's two different types of Fannie Mae HARP loans. Let's look at the DU Refi Plus first, the general guidelines. There's no max LTV for a fixed rate loan. Subordinate financing is permitted and there's no max CLTV. The new subordinate financing uh, would be allowed if it replaces existing and subordinate financing cannot be rolled into the new loan. It's allowed for one to four units on primary and investment properties one unit for secondary and um, almost all property types are, are eligible um, for example condos and manufactured homes would be eligible as well it must meet the borrower benefit requirements now du does not determine if the loan meets the borrower benefit so that would be something that has to be done by the lender so that would mean either the reduced there's a reduced mortgage and interest payment a more stable mortgage product, so maybe going from an arm to a fixed rate, <clears throat> reduction in interest rate, or reduction in amortization term. There's no minimum credit score, and the lender must determine if the loan is eligible for a higher price mortgage. So if it's in one of those areas where it has the higher limits, the lender would need to check for that. And waiting periods are waived 
for significant derogatory credit events. It must meet DUDTI requirements, so DU will uh, determine that. And income must be verified, but no history or continuity assessment is required. DU will determine any asset requirements, and there's no limit for the number of finance properties that the borrower has. And the lender does not have to check if the borrower, um, borrower's property is currently listed for sale. All right, everyone, that concludes part one of this two-part video series. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips and videos, please visit campusmortgage.org and look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, including underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.